This is an overview of the UNM Library's website, with a focus on the biological sciences. The library website is located at library.unm.edu. View library hours in the center of the screen. The Centennial branch is the Science and Engineering Library. Clicking on the branch brings up direct contact information, as well as a room reservation link. Scrolling down, in the middle of the page, we see links to specific Centennial Library resources, including a floor map, virtual reality, the Map and Geographic Information Center, anatomy models, research data services, and a staff list. Whenever you need to go back to the library homepage, just scroll up and click on the library icon in the upper left corner of the screen. Scrolling down on the homepage, we can take a look at some of the library's core services. Reserve a room refers to study rooms. Here you can see room calendars for each library, preview room images, and see descriptions including room equipment. In Centennial, our study rooms can accommodate between 4 and 16 people. Subject Librarians links to a list of librarians who can provide specialized research help in different subject areas. I can scroll down or search for biology and find contact information for the biology subject librarian. I can even use the Make Appointment link to set up a research consultation. Course reserves provide information about textbooks the professors put on reserve for their courses. You can also renew checked out books using your NetID and password. Interlibrary loan allows users to get access to materials that we don't have at UNM. You can either request to borrow a book from another library, which will arrive physically, or you can request an article or single book chapter, which will be delivered as a PDF. Next, let's review the different search features on our library website at the top of the page. The default catalog search on our homepage is like the library's version of Google because it searches across different databases and resources. Your search will bring up books, articles, audio and video media, and more. This can be a great place to search if you know exactly what you're looking for, like a specific book title. If you're just getting started, however, it can be overwhelming to browse through results from many different disciplines and in many formats. To the right of the catalog search, notice the Books Only tab, where you can search specifically for books. Under that, notice the Journals tab, where you can search for journal titles. If you want to search for journal articles, you can use the Articles Only tab. However, when you're looking for articles in a discipline for a research project, we recommend using a targeted database specifically designed for your research area of interest, like biology. That's where the Databases tab comes in. If you know the specific database you want to use, let's say Web of Science, you can navigate through our A to Z database list. So for Web of Science, we'll choose W and find it in the list that comes up. If you don't know the exact database that you want to use, but you're working in a specific subject area, you can click the By Subject drop-down menu. Let's select Biology. Best Bats signify key databases in a subject area, so they can be a good place to get started. Each database has a brief description. The library is here to meet your information needs and help you succeed in your academic career. We encourage all library users to ask us for help. Scrolling down on the home page, click the Ask a Librarian link to view the full suite of help resources. You can contact the library by chat, 
phone, text, or email. Again, there's a link to our subject librarian list where you can connect with a subject specialist to approach a more complex topic. You can also search or browse our list of FAQs in case you're interested in a general question. Whether you want to know how to print documents from your phone, find a book on our shelves, or get recommendations about how to approach a research project, we're always happy to try to help. That concludes our tour of the library website. Thanks for watching.